Hi everybody, Justin Elliott here from Elliott's Estate Sales, Elliott's Sales, Elliott's Luxury, Luxury Live. I don't know, what is it? I know, it's kind of confusing these days. I feel like there's a lot that's gone on in the last eight, nine months of my life. And you might know me from estate sales here in Oklahoma and Tulsa and Oklahoma City and all throughout the entire state. You might have met me many, many years ago uh, when I owned Spalls. And so if you followed me that long, thank you. Thank you for being here and putting up with me this long. Uh, and some of y'all might know me from um, another platform that I was on. And so uh, and we're going to talk about, you know, a little bit about that. We're going to talk about the platform that I'm selling on currently. And then we're going to talk about a new platform that I'm also going to be selling on. It's kind of a collaboration. Anyway, I'm excited to share, you know, what's been going on. We're going to take a seat and enjoy ourselves. So if this is something you'd like to hear about, please join me and let's get into it. I think the last time you might have seen me, depending on how long you followed me, as I just said, this is probably the outfit that you probably saw me in. And I was like, you know, probably somewhere near the front door, either standing and greeting you. And or I might have been cashiering while some of my staff used the bathroom or maybe they ate lunch as we liquidated a house over, you know, one to four days. There's been a lot of things that have changed, y'all. This is one of my signs, and uh, this is literally my outfit. Is that not hilarious? Um, I think that a lot of people probably have not seen me in, uh, you know, this kind of uh, just tee and some gray shorts on a lot of my uh, live shows. It kind of depends on where and how you've been following, how long you've been following me. Maybe you have shot my stores. So some of y'all, y'all don't have any idea about a previous life that I lived in a different career uh, where I was dealing with a cash box and taking people's orders and taking people's, you know, money to collect for an estate. Maybe a house, uh, you know, had, was going to be repossessed or maybe the family had passed away, unfortunately. Or, you know, people were downsizing and moving. That was my previous job. And so that's what this channel was actually created for. Initially, in 2012, I believe, we created this channel. And I say we, my team and I at the time, created this channel to be able to tour estate sales. So people locally could watch this show and this channel to view estate sales. But throughout the years, we've used it for different things. I've done thrift hauls. I've done educational videos and things like that. And all of that is changing. And I just want to, you know, recalibrate everything and kind of talk to everybody about what's going on, how everything has been. And I know y'all have seen me do lots of different things than just estate sales. There have been lots of people asking me, are you going to do estate sales still? Uh, their phone still rings of people wanting me to do estate sales here locally. And even out of state now that I have gotten a little bit more um, exposure outside of Oklahoma City by selling live. This is one of my businesses that it's like it's time to put it away. Let's go ahead and get started into what uh, previously, you know, I've been doing in the last eight months or so. So this time last year, I was liquidating an estate sale here in Tulsa and uh, it was a pretty large estate. I finished it and I was super excited because I heard about a, a platform that I could sell live on. So the platform, you know, really wasn't heard about yet, really at all. And even still to this day, it's not really known. I was accepted uh, very, very quickly. And I took off very, very quickly on there because I used my previous knowledge of auctioning and uh, uh, liquidating here in great state of Oklahoma under my estate sale. Uh, business. And so, you know, I already kind of had experience, not necessarily, um, you know, or I guess I should say not just a state sale uh, experience, but experience selling online on other platforms and selling traditionally on other platforms because I was already selling live on Facebook. That started about 2012 or so. Once you could start selling and, you know, going live on Facebook, then it was very easy for me to do tours live and show my customers what we're, you know, actually selling and I could bring it up close to the camera. And eventually I hired a camera person to be able to edit my videos and it got really fancy. And then, you know, we kind of, you know, stopped doing it as fancy because I felt like here locally, we were very, very above our time. Most of the other companies weren't doing anything like that. And, um, you know, it just it, people loved them. It was a lot of work uh, and it was a lot of fun and it gave me a lot of exposure. And over time, uh, I just kind of felt like it wasn't necessary. Our photos were really great and we'd have, you know, 50 or 100 people in line. And so it was something that we kind of faded out after a while. It took a lot of editing to edit, you know, a 30 to 45 minute 
minute video of someone's home in great lighting and all that. So you kind of get the gist, right? Elliot Sales is what my business name was on a previous platform where I sold only luxury items um, at the lighter part of that particular platform. And so I, I, I really did very, very good on the platform. There were lots of people that followed me and lots of people that follow me today that followed me back then. And they, you know, kind of know the story and such. And so <sighs> I'm so glad that's over with. It taught me a lot. I think I got it out of my system. It was really good training wheels. I just feel like without that platform, I wouldn't be where I am today. It did help me, even though, you know, we did part ways. So if you, you know, watch me there, I was getting my training wheels, I was doing really good. Now I am uh, selling on Poshmark. Selling live, uh, I do maintain a pretty regular schedule on Poshmark, and that is, you know, where I hang my hat at this time, where I am selling the things that are behind me here. Uh, all of the things behind me are for sale. So if you see something back here in my background that you'd like to buy, you can buy it at elliotsluxury.com or you can go on Poshmark if you feel that you are so inclined and more comfortable to work with Poshmark uh, as our broker uh, because I am a third party seller on Poshmark. And so in our terms of agreement, uh, if you wanna buy uh, something on Poshmark, then I am a third party. And so these items will be sent to Poshmark for authentication and then you'll get your items. The process takes about 14 days. With Elliot's Luxury, you're going to get your item in about three to four days. So uh, I changed my name when I less, left the other platform. I was Elliot Sales on that platform and then I changed it to Elliot's Luxury. I felt like it was very important for me to add luxury on there because in the very beginning on the other platform, I was selling estate sale stuff. Literally, I was touring people's homes and, uh, you know, selling random items. I think it was maybe like three or four shows or something like that before I specifically went into luxury only sales on the other platform. And so when I went to Poshmark, I already had the numbers and I already had the following and I already had the inventory to directly immediately move into another platform. Before I was accepting on Poshmark, I made a partnership with a company called Luxury Live. Uh, we're in the Luxury Live studio. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> this is the Luxury Live studio. Uh, Luxury Live and Luxury Live, uh, that is the business. It rolls off the tongue. It sounds fabulous. It is going to be its whole little vibe on its own. I can't really tell you a lot about that just yet, uh, but we'll get more into it a little bit later because I still want to talk to you about Elliot Sales and Elliot's Luxury and kind of the formation, the creation of that thereof. So Elliot Sales, I, I kind of got rid of. There are some size and signs that you'll see on like random auction items. Uh, I don't, there's not any auction items behind me, I don't think, but some of my auction items, if you ever watch my shows, uh, will have an Elliot Sales. And I think it's appropriate because Elliot Sales on the other platform was kind of a place that you would go to get things that uh, were lower end. Uh, it is a lower end kind of platform where it does attract people that are looking for extreme deals uh, in order to resell them. And so if you know your clientele, which I knew my clientele, and most estate sale companies know their clientele because there are a lot of resellers that shop estate sales. So you'll have your, you know, people that come in the very beginning in the, the morning and they don't care about prices at all. They just put everything on the sold table because they, uh, you know, they want their stuff and they're the end user. And then after, you know, most of the time goes by, you know, that last couple of hours or the last hour on the first day, last hour on the third day, you know, any time after the first day, mostly people are coming in looking for a deal. When I discovered that I could do live sales on Facebook, I immediately wanted to start integrating Facebook Live into my estate sale business so that I could get viewers and so I could get customers. Uh, we were heavily advertising on Facebook at the time because Facebook Lives were very, very popular. We would advertise on YouTube and then YouTube, we would then broadcast that on Facebook, uh, just like I will do this video here. So uh, uh, the one that we're recording right here, I will broadcast this on Facebook and then um, you know I'll put it in my stories and stuff so that you can find it. If you want to follow me, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in buying luxury, uh, pre-owned if you're you know locally locally lo located or if you're anywhere in the united states i do offer united states shipping subscribe that's that was the most important uh that was the most important thing um elliot's on posh okay so i've been on poshmark since november 10th november 10th yes november 10th was my very first live show on poshmark and i have been selling on poshmark since about 2000 12, 15-ish, somewhere around in there. That was my first show, was literally November 11th, 
11th, 10th, the 10th or the 11th. All I remember is literally driving down the road. I think I was uh, getting my hair cut or, oh, I was getting my nails done, I think. And I told her, look, you, you need to hurry because I just got accepted on Posh Shows and I've got to go. I, I've got to go. I got to go. I got to go right now. I was like, I have a whole room of luxury right now that literally needs to be shown on Poshmark. The sooner I can get on there, the sooner the better, right? Oh, that took off really well. People really enjoyed watching me on Poshmark. I think I've made a lot of new friends and connections on Poshmark that I didn't have. And on the other platform as well, I've had lots and lots of connections made that I never would have had the opportunity because they couldn't find me uh, for whatever reason. They gave me exactly what I wanted, which was exposure. And just like YouTube uh, gives you exposure, you know, you're looking for exposure. And so, you know, if you can gravitate the customer and, and gravitate toward the customer and the customer is interested in watching you, then, you know, you're going to have a successful business. And so that's always what I've tried to create, whether it be in any of my businesses. You always want something very personal and I want somebody that's going to speak the truth to me. So whether or not you're selling me a pair of shoes, you're mowing my lawn, or, you know, you're selling me a, a $5,000 Chanel bag, that's always how I've conducted myself in business is very upfront and, you know, being very forward with, you know, my customers. And so, uh, Poshmark. Okay, it's worked out for me. Uh, being uh, on Poshmark so far has worked out very well for me. I have had very, very, very little issue at all. I've really enjoyed it for the most part. Um, I think that we are on a, you know, a very new kind of industry uh, for the United States. Uh, there have been other countries that have been doing this for a decade now, and we're just now catching up to the rest of the world on uh, live sales and live luxury sales. And so I feel like this is a really great opportunity for me to start to talk about, uh, you know, an app that I am going to be affiliated with. I will be the head of, the face of, I will be everything that is uh, Luxury Live. And so it'll be called the Luxury Live app. And I feel like it's very important to mention that there will be, it'll be a very personal experience. It will not be, uh, you know, um, one of the three digit acronyms that sell that we've been watching, you know, I've been watching since I was a kid, but you get where I'm going. It won't be that professional. Uh, that's not really not, that's not really my point. My point is to be as personal and, and, you know, as professional as possible with still being real. And so no matter who is in my, uh, studio or the luxury live studio, whoever is here selling, that is the goal is to be as personable as possible and you know these are shows and so you won't be seeing you know the chanel bag up here you know going uh, for for three dollars per se uh, at a start price these items all have start prices they all have you know a price and so you can make us an offer at any given time uh, you know those kind of things it's a very personal service and you'll do that in the comments and so if you've had any experience shopping live I feel like you are kind of already been trained on how to bid, how to comment, how to talk to a customer uh, when you're shopping. Uh, and you also, you know, um, you know, know how to kind of talk to a host because that's really what I am as a host for you while we're going through these items. And so for me, these items are my personal items where when I hire someone to come in here and sell things to you, they won't have those personal connections with these items. And so what they'll do is they'll be able to go off of a price tag and tell you what the price is and be able to negotiate with you and I as a third party on Luxury Live app. And so uh, there's been lots of people ask me, you know, since you're starting an app or you're going to go to another uh, platform, are you going to leave Poshmark? Absolutely not. As long as Poshmark will have me on Poshmark, then I will be on Poshmark. I don't uh, see myself leaving Poshmark at any given time. It just, you know, that's kind of how I foresee it. I feel like I shouldn't be limited to one uh, platform and neither should you. Uh, use all the platforms that you possibly can. I think that we all are trying to, at the end of the day, pay our bills and gain, you know, a little bit of, um, you know, movement in our business and our success and, you know, our retirement. And so I am, you know, 35 plus this year and it's only going higher every year. I would wish that I was going the opposite direction, but uh, it, it, I only get older every single year. And so I feel like um, we it's time to get down to business. Uh, what, where are you going to land at? Um, I've had lots and lots of different businesses. I've you know been in the estate sale business for the last decade and I'm kind of over it. Um, I really am. I, I, whether you live in a big giant mansion or you live you know in a little modest abode, 
Uh, it's just the same thing. You know, everybody has forks and knives and everybody's got a little clothing and everybody's got some really nice, I mean, you walk into some houses and they're absolute mansions, but it, I'm just over it. You know, I'm over it. I'm over the stress. I'm over the, you know, the, the high traffic. -ed. You've got to deal with a lot of public and I like to be behind this camera. Uh, because unfortunately I don't, it doesn't wear me down as much. I can do an eight hour sale on a live show and not be as exhausted as I would be doing a six hour estate sale, uh, live, um, and managing the door and negotiating prices with resellers and, you know, cause no one wants to pay the price, right? Everybody wants a deal. And so, you know, as I explained, as the more, so more the sale goes on, the deeper the discounts go, the more people think that they need to uh, receive a discount to take that item out of the door. But you know, that's the kind of switch up that I've had with this particular kind of business. Uh, I've started auctioning things. And when I first started selling online at $3 and on the other platform, I think it was maybe a dollar. And so start bids, nothing would ever really sell for $3, obviously, but you get that kind of movement of, you know, B class D items for $3. And so that's kind of how I've literally, you know, built everything was selling things at three doll hairs uh, is what I would normally say during an auction. Um, there's been lots of people that have asked me if I have time to do coaching and I don't, I don't, don't have time to do coaching. Um, but what I do have time to do is to do my best and get the best setup, take really awesome pictures, make sure my items are authentic. Um, I am selling exclusively luxury items now. So I'm not selling cars and, um, you know, gold and firearms on site or anything like that anymore. Um, and that's what I would be doing here in Oklahoma. You know, that was the main extent of the, you know, the, the income on an estate sale was the, you know, the automobile, the firearms, the jewelry. Um, you know, I don't have to mess with that stuff anymore. And so I've really focused in on my business and it's only luxury now. So if you're an estate sale customer, hi, welcome. Uh, and thank you for so much for supporting my business over the last decade. But the channel is going to start taking a different way. I will start recording, you know, advertisements for bags. I will start pushing advertisements to Poshmark uh, and to Facebook and, you know, trying to integrate all of the platforms to get folks to my closet. Um, at this point, I have not spent a dime in advertising. Um, all of my traffic has been organic. All of the people that have followed me has been organic. Um, and I've great, gained quite a few followers in the last eight months that are completely new customers. They've never shopped an estate sale. They don't know anything about an estate sale. The estate sale sign and what I would normally be wearing, uh, I thought was a an interesting touch for you to kind of see you know, uh, a difference in change in someone's business and how, you know, they can uh, change their colors. Uh, there could be a chameleon to change into their business because normally I would be wearing a suit and or I would be wearing, you know, a different style of outfit. And so I, I like to wear a different outfit every single live. So if you haven't watched me on a live, I encourage you to do so. Uh, I wanted to let y'all all know kind of what's been going on and where I am propelling my business. Um, I think that's only going to go up from here. I really hope so. Um, I've got a lot to share and a lot to do. And I am almost finished with this studio and I'm preparing another one that will be our mid tier studio. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, several other projects going on in the building. And I'm excited to share what's going to go on. I'm excited about it all, uh, but I don't have a lot of definite answers right now. I'm getting lots and lots and lots of questions and it's exciting. I know it's exciting. It's exciting for me too. Let's all be excited together. And I just wanted to kind of tell everybody what was going on. And so I'm not really going to edit this video. I'm just going to leave the ums and the whatever in there. And so love you. Talk to you soon.